I don't much like the look of that. Right, we have got an oil leak. And I reckon it's that filter. Right, well, probably have a leak now. One, I haven't got any spare filters. I don't know if I can get any today. Um, two, <laughs> all the cattle need mucking out and feeding. So where are we on the level? Actually, we are right in the middle. So, there is. I'm sure, pretty sure that is only a weep off that uh, filter. It's not pouring out of there because I've, I've actually tried, I had to use both hands up to put the camera in. I've actually tried to move it and I can't actually move the filter at the back there. But looking at that clean stain, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? The clean stain going down the back of the filter. I think that's where, where it's coming from up in there. So whether when the engineer put the filter on, it wasn't clean and there's a bit of dirt in there or something and the seal's not not sealing. But I think the only way I can do that is to take both the filters off, um, check the seals, because uh, these aren't very old. And I either have to put these back on or I can see the number, P569381. See if I can get a couple of uh, new filters. If I can't get them today, that'll be Monday, Tuesday. Right. Well, for the time being, I'm going to have to have a little bit of oil leak and suck it up. Right, okay. So that's that. Oil level is spot on, right on the top of the dip mark. So, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Get in there. Go on, get in there. Get in there. That's okay. Water's okay. Well, apart from that little hydraulic leak, we are good to go. Right, well, that's the cow sort. I've done the double bale in there. I will do the single one in there, but that oil leak has bothered me a bit, so I think we'll give TH White's at not down a call in a minute and see if they've got some filters. If they have, maybe we'll get that job done. I can always do the rest of this this afternoon. Is that whites are shut? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. How about try listers? Welcome to Lister Milder at Simon Sister. Please choose from the following options press one for parts and showroom sales, including steel and husk parts. You now have two options. Press one for agricultural. Press two for... Please wait a moment. Maybe listers are open there. The branch is now closed. For out of balance emergency parts, please call 0777 okay. 47 so they're closed as well. Right, okay, so I am kind of stuffed. Someone's daring to walk on the road. I'm stuffed, so I think the only thing I can do today is either muddle on or try and tighten that other filter up. Both options are going to create a mess. Next problem, I can't find my filter strap. The tool I use is actually a, a, like a bit of bike chain and a lever. Um, 
I haven't used it for ages and obviously I put it somewhere very safe and I can't find it. The joys of a tidy workshop. So I can't even take the filter off because obviously I can't punch a hole through it with the screwdriver to take it off because I may need to reuse it. Hmm. Think. Where to start? It's been so long since I've used it that I don't actually remember seeing it for years. I bought this thing when I was 17 to change the oil filters. This is when I was younger and I wanted to do all my own mechanic in and stuff like that. And I was kind of more interested in the mechanical side of looking after my own stuff. I had a Mark II Ford Escort. And yeah, I bought this tool to change the oil and the filters on that. But that was a long time ago. Must be big sockets. Yeah. I don't get them out very often. Right, well, I'm going to put you down and carry on searching for five minutes. I, I'm not going to hold my breath because it could be anywhere. It could be on one of these shelves. Could have been chucked in a scrap years ago. Hmm. Who knows what that is? Okay, the blade is on that edge there. So, do you know what that is? Yeah, I know what it is, but do you? I think my chances of finding it in here are pretty slim. That's the sprayer that fits on the quad bike or the back of Dad's little buggy. <sighs> the pair of my old chainsaw boots are. Ah, uh, yes. Well, this is just um, this is just the shed where we throw stuff and kind of forget it. So some of these machines are well, they're they're old. They're old. Those big Husqvarna brush cutters, they don't work anymore, but uh, we used to cut Christmas trees with those. Right. It's got a blue handle. I was looking for that ball of string a while ago. Right, well, I don't reckon I'm going to find it. It is quite a small little tool, so... Okay, well... We'll let the dead sleep, shall we? Come on, Biscuit. I get the odd comments about these old railway wagons because that's what they were these these were well god years and years ago gotta be near turn of the century these were trending around on our railways transporting stuff so but no more we've got three of these we've got one here one at the top and one around the back so i actually had a guy approach me last year wanted to buy one he wanted to turn one of these into a garden room um, he'd seen someone else do it and then sell it and apparently it made stupid money like 30 grand or something so it's not for sale all right well my attempts to find a tool to get these filters off 
pretty much failed abysmally. Um, I was looking at making a tool to do it, but you know what? Um, day after tomorrow, so only 48 hours, I can actually go and buy two new filters and a proper tool to do it. So rather than trying to be clever and wasting loads of time um, trying to fix something that I'm probably going to replace Monday, Tuesday anyway, I think it's a case of I've got an oil leak, I know it's there, uh, that leak is probably going to cost me pennies in lost oil. Um, so apart from the little bit of contamination, which I'd, I'd rather not have, but it's going to be minuscule. Um, I think I'm just going to give up trying to be clever today and wait until next week and actually do it properly. That's a better idea. Do it once, do it right. So in the meantime, so the cattle have had their bales out the back. That is done. I need to do a bale in here for them now as well. Um, and I also need to sort out their bed. Now, excuse me, uh, I had a question. Uh, was it yesterday before? Um, one of you asked me why I use the ring feeders. And the simple answer is, is if I put a bale, if I was just to put a bale there with no ring feeder within a few minutes the bale wouldn't be there anymore it would be over there and then it would be over there and then it would be down there until they'd got it into a corner somewhere where they would just continue to destroy it um, a big bale to cattle is a giant toy and they will have lots and lots of fun with that giant toy uh, so I have to put the bale inside a feeder or something to contain it to stop the cattle from destroying it. And I thought, well, to demonstrate that, I've got another bale that needs to go in here. So what I think I might do is I'll scratch the top wet, rubbishy bit off the top of this. Um, this was a haylage bale we put in a couple of days ago when Abby was here, actually. And it got wet really fast. I mean, we've <laughs> again, we've had lots and lots of rain. Trying to keep this place dry and give a dry bed has been an uphill battle, but um, hello girl, what have you got behind you there? <laughs> 